A former police officer known for his tough, hard-nosed demeanor, Pat Burns began his coaching career in 1984 with the Hull Olympic of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. After a stint with the Sherbrooke Canadians in the AHL, the Montreal Canadiens promoted him to the big club, replacing Jean Perron in 1988. His strong defensive system allowed the Habs to win the Adams division with 115 points and a berth in the Stanley Cup final, losing to the Calgary Flames in six games. He was squeezing the last drop out of uh, some of us older guys, uh, for sure. And uh, he, he was good, though. I, he was a big bear. He was always gruff and sort of uh, grumpy at times. But underneath, you knew that there was a heart that cared deeply for uh, not only you, but the team and certainly the success of the team. He was tough. Uh, uh, Pat knew what, uh, what he wanted, what he was doing. And uh, we didn't always see uh, eye to eye uh, when we uh, were together in Montreal. but. Uh, uh, I think uh, in the end we uh, always had uh, mutual respect for one another and what we've accomplished as a player and a coach. Burns won the Jack Adams Trophy as Coach of the Year in his first season in the NHL in 1989. In four seasons, he won 174 games behind the Habs bench, and his colorful personality was on full display in Montreal. Boy, is he hot. That's about as hot as I have ever seen. You did not need to be a detective to pick out that foul. Burns resigned as coach of the Canadians in 1992, but he was not out of work for long. Very proud to have the opportunity of becoming the head coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs. His arrival with the Maple Leafs had an immediate impact. Two straight trips to the conference final and another Jack Adams trophy. One of the best I've ever had it the privilege to work for and to play under. I learned a lot and, and uh, how to approach my career, I think, by, by being coached by Pat Burns. Burns has just thrown a towel. He's throwing a tantrum. And now he's got a penalty. He was fired late in his fourth season in Toronto and was hired by the Boston Bruins in 1997, where his disciplinarian approach guided them to a 91-point season. His efforts were rewarded with another Jack Adams trophy, becoming the only coach to win the award three times. To win it you know, three different times at three different original six teams is something too. Uh, uh, that is something that, that I'm very proud of. For a young guy coming in at 18, he, he was tough. He was tough on a young guy like me, but uh, I think probably it made me grow a thicker skin and, and probably turn me into the player I am today. Success followed Burns to New Jersey, where he finally captured the Stanley Cup in 2003. But his world came crashing down a year later. I've been diagnosed with colon cancer. Um, shock and disbelief uh, had now faced me and my family. But for those who know me well, I never backed down from any fight. After surviving colon, then liver cancer, Burns was diagnosed with incurable lung cancer in 2009 and decided to forego further treatment. On March 26th, a frail-looking Burns appeared in Stansted, Quebec, where an arena will be named in his honor. I probably won't see the final project, final final ending to this project, but I know one thing that uh, let's hope I'm looking down. A fitting tribute for a coach who won over 500 games in the NHL. To be able to hoist that Stanley Cup over my head uh, in front of my family uh, was definitely the, the uh, icing on the cake.